again. We're back to playing Donkey Kong 64. I'm your host, Dazzling Anar. Hello, I'm Vickus, as usual. I'm still Nito King. He didn't suddenly become Nito Queen. That would be strange. That would be weird. Speaking of weird, yeah, we are playing that's why I stay away from cold water. <laughs> oh yes, uh, interesting. You should mention that we're playing as Tiny Kong. Tiny Kong, probably the most offensively weak Kong, but you know that doesn't count for that much in this game if you just play well. Mm. Oh, she's attacking. It could have been her. worse. They could have made her collect pink bananas instead of just really, really light purple. That's very true. So yeah, I mean, I like Tiny Kong a lot. Hey, like hey guys, hey guys, did you know that there are five golden bananas for her to collect in this level? No! I did not know that. Did well, you know that she's got a little flower on her overalls? What? Wow, I'm just learning things left and right here. Anyway, Tiny Kong proves that basically Rare can, when they try, make a decent female character design. They're they're kind of apologizing for uh, Candy Kong, like in the same game. They even they realize what a bad idea it was. I think, well, yeah, you know, we've got this offensive female stereotype who gives your Kongs giant melons. So <laughs> I didn't want to comment on that when we ran into her the first time, but I'm pretty sure people picked up on that. Mm. Whereas Candy Kong, uh, uh, Tiny is more like the precursor to Bayonetta. <laughs> she attacks with her hair. I never noticed that before, but you make a compelling point, sir. Indeed. Anyway, running counter to tradition, we get Tiny's blueprint pretty much first thing. Oh, weird. And completely invalidate my comment about her being offensively <laughs> weak because I just wrecked that guy's shit. Yeah, he just didn't have much ammo. I think the thing is that her, her weaker attacks are not so strong that they stun the enemies too much, so her stronger attacks actually do something. Ah, mm. uh, I'd say that's a pretty accurate assessment. Funky call. Back to Funky, giving guns to miners. Always. Of course, this isn't really so much a gun. This is just kind of... what? It's, it's a banana on a stick. <laughs> also, it shoots It's feathers. a crossbow. It kills anything in one hit. <laughs> Even if you're just shooting feathers out of it. I guess those are some potent feathers. Okay. You ever been shot in the eye with one? <laughs> I, I have not. Maybe it really does hurt. You really need to experience more of the stuff that happens in these games. I, I, I'm i sorry. I've lived a sheltered life. I've never been to a strange utopian banana aisle. You should try it sometime. It's great. I, it looks pretty fun. I'm not really down with all the goddamn giant beavers, but... <laughs> I guess sacrifices have to be made. Even Tiny Kong's fucking beavers. Vegas. Yes. <laughs> I thought we agreed. No more of that. Hmm. <sighs> oh wow, she massacred that switch. I hate switches. I will kill them all. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to bonus day. Let's flash salvage. This Try saying worst. that ten times fast. <laughs> I would probably murder myself before I did that, because I hate this game so much. <laughs> and this is one of the easier ones, but it's just a combination of terrible underwater controls, terrible underwater camera... Oh wow, this makes is this incredible. Game ...so much harder than it needs to be. Uh, but I, I managed to pull it out. Where is this... where are these coins even? I, like, I can't see where they are in relation to the level, uh, the big barrel. What I do is I just ram the walls with my <laughs> face so I sort of have some idea of where I am. Mm. And it usually ends up working pretty well. <laughs> Seems to be Tiny's best move, really. Yeah. Those starfish are also assholes, because if you stay in one place too long, they'll hit you. You mean if you don't get out of the way, the enemy will hit you? I know, it's a novel concept, and I kind of like the innovation they were going with there, but it <laughs> ended up being way too annoying. Well, you are underwater. I mean, everything is annoying when you're underwater in a video game. It just It's kind of how it works. Hooray for swimming controls. One of these days, they're going to get a game that does that well. <laughs> I thought uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 did the swimming controls really well. 
which made it kind of a shame that there was absolutely no point to it whatsoever. <laughs> I don't even remember there being swimming in Kingdom Hearts 2. That's what I'm talking about. You swam for all of, like, one room, and then you did silly musicals. <laughs> I was actually one of the few people that actually thought those were kind of fun, but I like musicals, so... So you're just a terrible person. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, even I can't excuse Finny fun, though. That was terrible. <laughs> even you have limits? <sighs> yeah. Oh, hey, look, another fairy. I just don't know what to make of those assholes. They're just kind of flying around and being annoying. And remember how I said in the last video that you shouldn't expect my good aim to last? Yeah. D does she curve the feather? That's... Uh, out of all the guns, the feather is my least favorite to shoot because she kind of does. Boy, that, that seems because... like... Really annoying. Well, it's not really a very aerodynamic projectile. That's a good I point. Mean, yeah. I guess I can see that, but it just... The way it moves makes it really hard to judge and aim where it's going. <sighs> it's just giant pain in the butt. Mm. I always had problems aiming stuff on the Nintendo 64. I mean, it's not really unique to this game. It, mm -hmm. Aiming with an analog stick at all is kind of hard, but especially on the N64, it's just... Yeah, pretty Might much. as well fire at random like I do and hope you get something. <laughs> I guess you oh, have wait, 50 feathers, so that. it's not like you're going to run out. And we will get more at the end of the as the game progresses. We get uh, ammo upgrades. Oh Spoilers. boy. Now Cranky sells drugs to children. This game has just got uh -huh. so many things. Oh god! Oh my. Mini monkey. <laughs> she just Mini picks it away. Giant head. <laughs> yeah, it did. It miniaturized everything but her head, and it was kind of an inconvenience. Having seen that, I'm not sure why she would ever use that power again. <laughs> Bananas, You told me a broken power, old man! I want my money back. Cranky doesn't give refunds, though. No, he's... He'll give you a refund, all right. He'll give you a refund with a stick up your ass. <laughs> he does not take any shit. Of course not. Mini Monkey well, neither does Tiny. is probably the most used barrel ability. Mm. I think there's not a level in the game where you don't use it to some degree. Well, I mean, you could turn yourself small. That has so many potential applications. I guess so. Also, you can jump on Cranky's lap. <laughs> I think that's the only area in the game where you can do that. You kids get off my roof. And there's actually a reason to do that later on there. Ooh. Involving bananas. I'll just say it. Chunky's... A banana bunch for Chunky is up there. So not only are you jumping on his roof, you're jumping on his roof with the heaviest car. <laughs> sort of nice little bit of revenge. <laughs> you can kind of picture him doing like in the first game and banging the roof with his cane. Get down off of there and leave my <laughs> banana horn alone! <laughs> you're messing with my satellite TV. <laughs> like I said, he'll give you a stick up your ass. <laughs> Darn crazy kids in your video game playing! Oh no, Cranky loves video games, he just hates all the new ones. <laughs> well, the ones that don't have him in them. He yeah, has the main character, or whatever. He beat I, this game with 101% in two hours. I'm <laughs> sure he did, he is pretty pro. Like, he should be LPing this game. There we go. So, Tiny just kinda runs along and smacks into that beaver with her face. <laughs> That's about all the girl was ever good for in the first place. <laughs> Oh wow, I think I'm just gonna... Tiny. I'm just gonna step aside and kind of let this take its course here. <laughs> control! But it's a beautiful derail. Oh yes. Uh, Cranky Kong, how I love you. If I love you, I mean, please don't hit me. This is actually not the last unique area of Jungle Jakes, but it, we're getting to the end of exploring all of this level. It's almost New pathetic. Areas. I mean, you've only got two Kongs left to actually get anything in this area. <laughs> it's kind of empty. There is stuff to do here. Like, become small. Is that a turtle shell or an armadillo? I have no idea what that skin. is. I think it might be like a beehive or like a big old conch shell or something. <laughs> Again, right out of Banjo Kazooie. Of course. Yeah, we know, Squawks. It's the same for every building. <laughs> it's gotta explain. 
except the rocket barrel boost, which ironically Squawks didn't show up to explain. Ha, huh, of course. Oh wow, so look at that, that hiding bananas inside trees. How did they get there? I guess the clap traps hit them there because they're the only ones I can think can fit in there. Hmm. Fuck those clap traps. <laughs> Always making trouble. Wait, do you, you've never seen the rare bananas that grow inside trees? <laughs> Madness. Seems a little bit. They only have them in a small section of Bolivia. Ah, that that <laughs> explains it. And that camera angle just changed really quickly. You don't actually control this part at all once you go in. Oh, it's so like just, an automatic just runs through. sequence. I guess that's good. It's a rail banana grabber. <laughs> it's new. They invented a new genre. There's a couple areas like that when you get tiny because the camera angles do get a little dicey. I prefer my uh, action banana grabber RPGs. <laughs> I like the banana grabber in Secret of Monkey Island. Ah, yes. Wonder if this game is like a spiritual sequel to that, because this is a Monkey Island and it does have secrets. It's very true. Unfortunately, there are no uh, no guy brushes, as far as I can tell. Sadly, no. I guess. Nope, no analog I can think of since nobody in this game really talks except the NPCs. Curses. I kind of wonder if Cranky's supposed to be analogous to Herman Toothrot in that case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cranky. So we're inside this strange unidentified object. There are giant bees. So I'm inclined to believe it's a beehive. I tried to hit the bee with a grenade just to see if I could, but it didn't really pan out. <laughs> it only took you three feathers. I'm always looking for ways that will uh, save me from having to aim at stuff. Mm. I don't think something like that comes up pretty soon. <laughs> that was sort of like an explosive cross counter there. No kidding. I got hit at the exact same time he blew up. Orange is flying everywhere. Those Kremlings got into my orange stash that one time. <laughs> So I stole their magical voodoo root! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cranky, also, did you I see a game. disco ball up in the, at the top yes, of this? I this is a disco beehive. It's never Punch explained. Out. I mean, probably not the only thing in this da, game that's da, never da, explained. Da, da, For some da, reason, da, it really da, kind da, of bothers da, me. Da, da. I, I, I just kind of roll with it. I don't... I have no fucking idea. It's probably better that way. Ah, oh, twofer. I don't really know how that worked, but you know, N64. He was taunting you. That makes your attacks twice as effective. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you just hit a switch to open up a room with another switch for you to hit? Yeah. Thanks, Rare. <laughs> They're all numbered. <laughs> at least it, it's at least it's hard to get lost. Hmm. I still which probably of these managed doors to do did it. Just open, and which door was open before? Oh man, for a second I thought you were gonna walk into the other door just out right after saying that. Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on your viewpoint, <laughs> I managed to get my shit together. I'm actually kind of sweating bullets here because I'm afraid that I missed a banana somewhere. Oh god. But fortunately, no. Hooray. Because when you don't have like an even divisible of five in bananas, there's usually cause for concern. But. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're kind of dicks and they put random banana placement. <laughs> just to fuck with your head. Goddamn. Here's this one banana. It's just off on an island that you've never visited. Fortunately, I don't think there's any cases that are that quite severe, but... I would not put it past rare water because... <laughs> Wouldn't yeah. surprise. Those are big fat trees. They serve they were Planning a Donkey Kong 64 2 where they were going to have every banana was going to be a single individual banana somewhere. <laughs> oh god. You're going to give me nightmares. You want oh, that hey. on your conscious? Yes. I remember oh, okay. activating that banana porter way back when. Yeah, that uh, sort of a nice little bit of connectivity between secret areas. Mm. Oh man, do you mean we only get to see this fan blow one more time? I I'm sorry, man. Uh, savor it while you can, I guess. But this is so interesting. 
Yeah, don't worry, some of the later snides will have the same thing again. <laughs> Plus a bunch of other stuff. Oh boy. And I've tried to skip it, I really have. <laughs> I've tried pressed everything. every button imaginable, but there's no dice. So I guess if it really becomes an issue, I can just edit it out. Have you tried the reset button? Okay, I didn't try that button. You got me. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> Alright. Well, on that sour note, thanks for joining us. <laughs> so, what's her idle animation then? Um, more oranges. Always Hacky oranges. Sack. You'd think it would explode. I guess they pick duds? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.